Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to take you through a workflow of adding your own GIS data to an existing conditions model, and we will be using a combination of InfraWorks 360 and AutoCAD Civil 3D to achieve this. Adding your own GIS data is something you might have come up on in every civil project, so the workflow that you see can be used over and over again on present projects and projects to come. When it comes to adding your own GIS data, one of the most common things that uh, stormwater engineers need to have is a listing of the soils that are currently on the existing site. So I need to know what different types of soils are here uh, for my project before I can move forward with my stormwater design. Quickly I'm going to show you how you can bring in that GIS data so that we can define what's actually out here soils wise. I'm going to go out to the Web Soil Survey website and I'm going to define my AOI with the same boundary that I used for bringing in the boundary into InfraWorks 360. So it'll be the same boundary that the surveyor actually went out and collected for us. You simply do that by choosing the particular files here that are shown, the shapefile, SHX, and project file. So I'm going to grab the SHX file. I'm going to grab the project file, and we should be good to go. All right, and I will select Set. AOI. So it's going to zoom to the actual location of my project, which makes it very easy for me to collect the soils data. The next step would be just to select soils map. And once the soils map is populated, then we can download the soils data. All right, so we would just create a file link. It would, it would give us the shape file that we need to drag in and drop onto our site. So let's jump back into Civil 3D because a good practice is Use the map tools to see what kind of data is on your shapefile that you've gotten from the whatever agency that you've picked up the GIS data from. I'm going to quickly.